On the corner of Dave Meehouse Way and Edgar Martinez Drive, welcome to T-Mobile Park. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the South Division All-Stars taking on the All-Stars from the North Division. First pitch coming your way next. So, almost ready to get underway. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Kevin Gowdy. What's the scouting report on him? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 35. Swung on, popped up, left side. One up, one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out, a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. Next pitch downstairs, and now 3 and 0. There's a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3 0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And there's the strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Liner, base hit. Nobody, nobody. Go home, go home. Love how he became a really tough that out with two strikes right there. Right Just field. a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now the lefty. Out there to center, number 17 should have this one. Pulls it in for the out. And now the first baseman, number 24. The first baseman. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. And safe. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The lefty, the 1-0. -on. Yeah. Now one to one And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a 1-2. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Saunders brings it in for the third out. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. Back in Seattle, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's a speed threat, Alberto Rodriguez. That's in there. Strike one. Fouled off, he was late. Here's the 0-2. And downstairs. Two strikes. That one is upstairs. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. 
Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Payoff pitch. Up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Bryson Brigman in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Ground ball right side could be two. Poisson over to second, and that's two. Jimmy Govern will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. In the dirt, now 2-0. And that misses upstairs now, 3-0. and oh. That one's in there. And now three balls and a strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air, right field. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second with two gone. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Oh, now this ball gets down. And in to score the runner from second. Just a careless job of getting it in from the outfield there. So two down. And yeah, the batter down. Ty Duvall. Duvall checks his swing. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. That one fouled off. 0-2 now. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup, but they push across one run. Three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Avery Weems on a pitch out of the pen here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. For three, our final score, a one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. For the South Division, three runs on eight hits, one error. They left 17 runners on base. A double-A manager has called one of his young players in for a quick word. The word is good. Within 48 hours, this player will be in a new city and putting on a new uniform. Before the break, we were talking about how exciting it is for these young players getting called up to AAA. Carlos, when you got called up to AAA in 2001, what, were you, what was going through your mind? Well, you know what? It was a big jump because now you're getting players that are veterans coming down from the big leagues to AAA. So the level of play was a little bit more advanced. So this is where you get tested. And if you succeed in AAA, you pretty much secure your spot at the very least they think that you're ready for the big leagues and then they don't hesitate to call you up. Yeah, that's it. When you're jumping a level, you're excited, you're eager to find out where your talent level sits with a talent above the league that you come from. And if you want to make it to the major leagues, you got to prove yourself at every level. Well, they're at the doorstep of the big leagues.